should work. All right. You guys can unmute yourself because we're starting with you guys on the screen. <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, free training of how to scale your coaching or consulting business from sub 10K months or 5K months to 25K plus months. And I wanted to bring on some of our clients to give you some inspiration uh, to share some of their stories, their own journeys. Um, and I have three rock stars right here with us. Um, so uh, if you guys don't mind introducing yourselves real quick, uh, what you do, um, what program you joined, and um, kind of just a brief synopsis of your story. So, oh, wow. Uh, wow. Is that too much? No, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How, how much time do we have? Like three minutes? That sounds perfect. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to go. I'm Samantha Gooden, and um, I am the founder of the Fearless Coaches Club. The Fearless Coaches Club is designed specifically for women who are coaches but find themselves totally stuck because you can't liberate your message, you can't launch your idea, you don't know how to monetize your genius, and then guess what? you feel like fear is crushing you. So I, I, I created that and I joined the Authority Accelerator program about October of last year. And at the time when I joined, I was a total mess. I'd lost my six figure marketing agency. I had no clients, no money, no team. And I had no idea what really happened in the online space. So pretty much I went to Tribe of Buyers and at, for Tribe of Buyers, I had no money for the ticket. So I got miles there. Doug, who may not even remember this, Doug had put out a post to say, hey, um, we're all going to be able to share a room or, or something of a sort. It wound up that I shared room with his assistant at the time. That's how I was able to afford it. So two of my clients came through because I was only charging $247, people. That's a whole other story. Um, so that was two client payments that came through to pay for my room, and I had no money for food. But thankfully at Tribe of Buyers, the live event, they were serving lunch. So I ate, I went to the, the table and ate like two and three times. When people invited me for breakfast and dinner, I did not show up because I didn't have any money. And I just stayed and I focused and I learned my stuff. And within the first seven days after getting back from Tribe of Buyers, I made my first $5,148 from at the time it was my Facebook group. Um, with and, and it had less than 400 people, 379 people. Now I'm applying a, the authority accelerator stuff even more. Um, July, I did 28K in 28 days. Last month, I did 49.5K. And this month, I'm going to completely knock it out of the water. So mm -hmm. I know what it is to be at nothing. And I, I know what the authority accelerator process is. And when I was studying, it wasn't as good as the stuff that's in there now. It's even better now. <laughs> um, it's completely revolutionized my life. So yeah, that's me. Thank you. Awesome. And by the way, Samantha is one of our coaches inside of Authority Accelerator as well. Uh, her energy is just so infectious and so amazing. <laughs> um, and Samantha, thank you so much for sharing all that. Um, thank you. Christine? Hi. Yeah, I'm Christine McAllister. I'm the founder of Life with Passion. And I uh, have a program called Six Figure Simplicity. Uh, that Andrew and team helped me create where I help high achieving women create a six figure online business in six months or less without overwhelm or burnout. I joined seven figure CEO about a month and a half ago. Uh, and I've been in this business for five years. I have um, a best selling book. I've done all the things right podcast and really have honed my craft over that time. Um, but, but there was, there was something missing to get me to that next level. And I wasn't quite sure what it was, um, but some friends shared uh, Tribe of Buyers with me. And uh, I just decided very quickly to join and show up as the person who was going to create a seven figure business in a few months time. And uh, I was able to within, it extended a little bit. It was like, what, 50, 52K within um, the first month of joining, 52K, um, uh, booked. And then um, a, a week later, I had two more people join my program when I wasn't even uh, launching anymore. So it's 67k uh, booked and 30k collected within five weeks. Fantastic. Um, with no ads, uh, no funnel, entirely organic. Literally, I just got my team's timesheets today. They both worked less last month than, I, than they have in years. <laughs> and what was 
so fun is that I took my whole family and one of my team members um, and some of my like friends to Colorado for a month. I launched while I was there. I was able to like give everyone this amazing experience, do it in person and um, be working part time. And so I'm super, super grateful. Um, it's just, it's been an incredible five, six weeks and I can't wait for the next 11 months. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations. Congrats and thanks, Christine. Um, Doug, want to introduce yourself and your story? Yeah, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Doug Bowen. I am the founder of Salesforce Mastery. And yeah, so Andrew and I, I, I watched Andrew online when I first got started. Um, I quit my restaurant job back in November uh, 2018. <clears throat> back then, I was um, doing agency work. I was helping local businesses with their websites and sales funnels and just burning out. Like, you know, I, it was a great move to get me out of my full-time restaurant job at the time. Um, I was just trying to pay off my student loans. I was over six figures in debt from college without having a degree. So like a lot of pressure. And um, I mean, that was like 20 months ago now. So it's not like um, a lot has changed. And um, one of the things Andrew saw me doing was he, he came into my Facebook group. Um, I was in his group too, watching it grow like crazy. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Um, and I was getting ready to launch a, a course of my own, but I was going to build it out like over the long haul. And he's like, you're doing it like you're, you're doing really great, but like you should do this one thing first. And that one piece of advice that he told me to do made me over $34,000. Like as soon as I, like two weeks after I met him and joined his program. So I remember our sales call. Like I was on a call, um, really interested in joining his program, only had $400 in my bank account. Um, and he told me to work for it. And I went out there, I made the affiliate commissions I needed through ClickFunnels to buy his program. And then again, like I mentioned two weeks later from him telling me to do the beta launch, do a launch post, go through what he teaches in Authority Accelerator. And two weeks later, I made $34,000, was able to pay his uh, program off in full. And um, about a month later, he invited me to San Diego, which was the first time um, coming to California. I'm now living here. And uh, I got to meet <laughs> everybody in the program. And that was like epic for me because I got to surround myself with people that are building multi six figure million dollar businesses. And um, I'm like, I want to do this. I want to be a part of this. I want to come out here four times a year and took him up on his offer for seven figure CEO and paid it in full because I saw the value in it. And to date, I mean, we're talking, uh, I think 14 months now into his programs, I've more than 20 X that investment, which is oh, insane. Oh my God. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah so, uh, Andrew has definitely turned my life around. Um, student loans are gone. Uh, my programs are being built out. Um, just life is good. I'm living here out in sunny California now and uh, be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Doug, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Um, I'm so happy for all your success right now and continued success in the future working together. Um, if you guys on the live have any questions for Doug, Christine, Samantha, drop them down below. We'll get them answered um, before this is all said and done. But on this training, I'm going to walk you through the process step by step um, on how they were able to go from their uh, their situations before 10K to busting through uh, the 10K marker and beyond through the launches. And along the way, if you guys want to be part of one of our amazing communities, either Authority Accelerator or Seven Figure CEO, and just explore it, hashtag AA down below, and we'll reach out, we'll hop on a call. We, uh, we don't um, work with everybody. If you're not a good fit, we'll, we'll tell you it's just not a good fit and we'll point you in the right direction and get you to an introduction to somebody who might be a good fit for you. So anytime along the way, just hashtag AA down below. Um, but this training is pretty epic. Um, what I really wanna do, let me flip my screen around for you. What I really wanna do is simplify everything for you because there's so much information out there that you probably have shiny object syndrome and are probably trying to do a bunch of different things. And a bunch of different coaches, business coaches out there teach all these complicated tactics. And what I've found in business, it's not about making it easier. It's about simplifying it, which makes it easier. So um, that's my intention for this training here for you is to give you the focus 
and simplicity in your business that you need in order to scale. And if you want to go faster, if you want to be surrounded by other people that are winning, um, then hashtag AA down below and we can hop on a call and explore that with you guys. Um, but if you guys are excited for the training, hit the heart button, hit the like button, put a one in the comments. One of those things, because the more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. Uh, and I'd love to see your smiling faces uh, in the comments down below uh, if you're here with us. I promise you, if you stick through the entire training, then um, you will know exactly what to do step by step. Um, and you will have so much more clarity in what you need to do to scale your coaching or consulting business. Uh, and Gallen, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Michael, thanks for being here. Preston, my man, thanks for being here. Uh, Dorinda, oh God, I screwed that up. I'm so bad with names and reading, which is bad. Uh, shout out to you, hashtag AA already. We have Preston, Herman, and Trent uh, down below in the comments to chat with you guys. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna dive right into it. Uh, Kim, thanks for being here. So let's rock and roll. So uh, Tony Robbins says this all the time, complexity is the enemy of execution. The reason why you're not getting to your goals that you wanna be getting to is because you haven't simplified it enough. You're listening to too many different things when you center on just one source and focus on listening to that one source to get that result, that is when you actually start reaching your goals. So this is for you if one of your top values is growth. My top value is growth. I am perfectly okay with experiencing um, purposeful pain because that's the only way that we grow. So one of your top values has to be growth. This is for you if that is one of your top values. You need to genuinely care about your clients and want the best for them. This is not a quick cash grab. You're dealing with real people's lives. So you have to genuinely care. If you don't just drop off right now, I'm a straight shooter, just drop off. If you are just doing this for a cash grab, I don't want you to watch this. Um, you seek the simplest path to your goals, not the easiest. Like I said before, if you seek easy, you will get failure. But if you seek simple, you will get ease and success. Um, also, uh, you want to make a massive impact and make a lot of money while doing it. My own personal story, I started three years ago and I just focused on organic and now we're doing organic and paid and focused on getting massive results for our clients because that's what drives more people to our programs. And that's what's made a lot of impact for us and a lot of money. So right now I started as a solo entrepreneur. Uh, I hit 40, 50 K months burnt the hell out after a little bit. And then I learned how to grow a team and that's what seven figure CEO is all about. So, um, and now we're, we're uh, a multi-million dollar business with a team of 16 right now. And I've been on that path. I've, uh, I've struggled to get my business up and running. Um, and I've had those long nights and those early mornings just trying to get my business up and running. And as soon as, and I've invested over $300,000 in myself uh, in coaching programs and masterminds, I've learned what works, I've learned what doesn't work. Um, so it's for you if you want to make massive impact and a lot of money. And if you're sick and tired of wasting time, time on strategies that don't work. So this is for you if uh, you're, this is not for you if you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, you're not willing to put in the work, uh, you don't care about your client results, and you're looking for a get quick rich, uh, uh, quick cash grab. This is not for you if that is what you're looking for. So we'll hop into it, the three steps to 25K plus months. So actually, I'd like to pause there and ask you, what are you here for? So what is your goal over the next 30 days? What is your goal over the next 90 days? Let me know down below, and I'm going to look into the comments. And at the end, I'm going to take Q&A. Uh, all of your questions will be answered. I'll stay on as long as you need me. So let me know what your current situation is and where you want to go in the next 30 to 90 days. So let's hop into it. So the problem that you might be experiencing is that you're wasting your time and energy on strategies and tactics that are not getting you the result that you're looking for. You're getting frustrated by not knowing the exact steps. 
in growing your business and you want to learn the simplest path to your business and personal goals. So my promise of this training is that you'll know exactly what to say yes to. And more importantly, you'll know exactly what to say no to in order to scale your business. No is the most powerful word uh, in the English language. The more you can say no to that is not a part of your vision, the faster you'll get to your goals. So you'll stop wasting your, shit, your time on shit that doesn't work and you'll have a step-by-step -step roadmap to 25K plus months. And again, if you wanna go faster, if you wanna be surrounded by badasses inside of my paid communities, hashtag AA down below and we can talk about that. The people in your life are your life. Uh, like the, the, uh, the five people that you surround yourself with are the average of you, right? So uh, if you wanna be a part of that, hashtag AA down below and we can explore that together. All right, so Doug, Christine, Samantha, anything you want to add before we get rocking and rolling into the training? I want to just say that um, there's nothing like being around another community of people. Mm -hmm. Just before I came into AA, I was actually, my little prayer was I need to breathe new air around new people because I was all about, you know, everything around was about poverty and being broke and I just couldn't see another way. And there was a powerful question that I was asked in the coaching call. Actually, it was the sales call, but it felt like a coaching call before joining Tribe of Buyers. And it was not if you're going to make it happen, but how can you make it happen? And just those three, those three little letters put together completely changed things for me. How could I make it happen? And I, I couldn't recommend the program. I couldn't recommend the program more. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in a place right now where you're uncertain, Andrew's going to give you a ton load of amazing information right now. But if... If you're around the right people who are having similar challenges and even greater breakthroughs than you, and you're able to talk freely about money, and you don't have to be afraid of it because it's such an open community, I'm telling you, you are going to accelerate the success that you're dreaming of right now. Thank you, Samantha. Christine, Doug, anything you guys want to add uh, before we jump into this? I love that. I think what I would offer is... Um, I've heard a lot of people talking about how it's not okay to sell right now. It's not okay to, it's, you know, too many people are hurting, the world is hurting. And I think um, one thing that I know to be true for myself, for Andrew, for the whole team is, uh, and the people in these programs is we're all really focused on impact and service. Like he was saying, like, this is not for you if you just want to make money. Like, um, and that's why it's, it is so exciting to be in a place where we are able to generate this kind of um, income and impact. Like my clients are now turning around and helping people immediately, right? Like, I mean, a rising tide raises all ships. So I'm able to give away a lot more money, which is a huge value of mine. And I'll say like, I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old and they've been home with me this whole time. Like this has been the most intense personal season of my life <laughs> and also growing a seven figure business. Right. But it, the simplification thing, which is such a big value of mine as well. We all tend to make it so much more complicated. This stuff works if you allow it to be simple, right? And just and just try it, right? So just a glimpse into the insanity that has been my life and still able to create these kinds of results um, because of the support and the simplicity of the strategies. Amazing, thanks, Christine. Uh, Doug, anything yeah. you want to before we hop in? Yeah, you mentioned something, and I just want to recap, like talking about the network and the community that you get access to when you level up and decide to join a program. So like, honestly, like I will join programs just for access to the community and the network because you can get a huge ROI from those networks, those relationships and those connections that you're building. Like I've already had, I don't know, multiple connections in Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO that's paid for the investment over and over again because of partnerships, joint ventures. Um, I am an affiliate for certain softwares that other people in the program are selling that pay me monthly recurring revenue. Like it's, it's just amazing. And um, you know, to touch on, I think what Samantha said, like when you surround yourself around people that have the same problems or um, bottlenecks as you and you're talking through it like it just levels you up and uh, it feels good to be uncomfortable every day and I'm uncomfortable every day and I watch what people are doing around me and when you surround yourselves around people building six-figure month businesses like you're gonna get there and it's just yeah that's that's my, my take on that amazing yeah guys thank you so much um, if you want to add anything to the training if anything pops up feel free to unmute yourself and just add in um, I'd love your insight into, into this. 
So guys, let's hop into it. Hit that heart button if you are stoked and ready to go. Uh, and we'll jump right into the training. I just need to see some hearts go, come through so we can engage more, get more reach, reach more people and help more people on this training. Doug, I see you doing it already. There's always a lag on Facebook Live, so I'm sure I'll see more coming through soon. Cool, we got Kim hitting that heart button hard. I love it. Uh, Brad Newman joined us, who's one of our coaches inside of Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO as well. He says, oh my God, yes. If you don't know uh, Brad Newman, you need to know Brad Newman. Um, he is the freaking man, one of the best sales guys I know. He sold over um, over $3 million worth of digital products online for people like Sam Ovens, Scott Olford. He's an absolute badass. So thank you for the eggplants, uh, Brad. Super appropriate. I love it. All right. So step number one is getting your mind right. So when, before I became an entrepreneur, uh, I was selling um, uh, customizations on top of CRM systems. I was working a nine to five, doing 50 cold calls per day and just burnt out. I was drinking too much. I was drinking four nights a week and just killing my body. And I didn't have the right mindset. But there is a quote that stood out to me um, from the poem Invictus, and it's, I'm master of my fate, I'm captain of my soul. Like, I determine my destiny. And since I read that, I have owned my life, and um, I have owned the results in my life. And um, it was around that time where I set a, a goal to lose 20 pounds and to quit drinking in 90 days. And I remember being at the YMCA, looking down at the scale and it's saying 162 pounds. And I was 21 pounds lighter than I was 70 days previously. And something triggered in my head where I was like, holy shit, if I put my mind to something, I can do it. And the more you um, have, pr you set promises and accomplish those promises and stop letting yourself down, that's when you create the momentum that you want in your life. And it's not just in business, but also your personal life. You say, I'm going to do this and you do it. And that's what creates momentum and confidence. So that's really the crux of all mindset things. Um, I was recently hanging out with an eight figure entrepreneur in Miami. Um, and uh, we were just jamming out, hanging out in the hot tub. And I was, I brought up mindset. And he was like, dude, it's not about mindset. It's about setting a goal and hitting that goal. It's about taking the action to hit that goal and don't let anything distract you from hitting that goal. And it's so true. It's all about the action that you take towards a goal. And when you accomplish it, that's where you get the momentum um, and you need the right support system to help you accomplish those goals. So with all of that, we'll just jump right into this, some bullet points around the mindset or kind of how you wanna think about things. So it's not about how beautiful it is. It's about the value and utility that you bring to your ideal clients. I'm doing this on a fucking word document. So I want you to, I, why I did that is because I, starting out, you don't want to make things pretty. You don't want to make a website. What you want to do is have a lot of value and provide a lot of value. And what value actually is, is utility. It's how useful is this to my ideal client, right? So it's all about providing utility, not making it beautiful. Like that's one thing about growth and about providing value to others. It's not about how beautiful it is. It's about how valuable and how useful it is to them. So one quote that I live by, and if you've been a part of any of my programs or bought anything from me, one of the first things that I start with is done is better than perfect. Stop trying to make things perfect. There are going to be ups and downs. You're not going to know the exact right thing to do, but as long as you get it done, you pick up data points and you learn from it, right? I actually got this quote from Ravi the other day. It's one of his favorite quotes. Uh, Ravi Avuvala, one of my good friends, um, we were at a mastermind together and he said, action leads to insight more than insight leads to action. It's all about taking the action and moving forward towards your goals and accomplishing those goals through action. Super duper important. Also, in terms of attracting clients, 
it's not about that magic thing that you say. It's not about that, like, there's, there's no magic bullet. It's about living the life that your ideal clients want to be living. It's about living your best life and that will attract the right people towards you. So like over the past three years, I've quit drinking. Um, I've moved from uh, Cleveland to traveling around the world to San Diego, to finding an amazing girlfriend, um, to being surrounded by an amazing community. And I'm really living the life that most of my ideal clients want to be living. And now with a team that's leveraged that I, like, I love coaching, so I coach a lot, but I don't need to do anything outside of what I love to do, which is amazing. So live the life that your ideal clients want to be living. And a lot of times, that's not what the rest of society is doing. So you've got to tap out of like the norm of society. Um, do the shit that other people don't want to do. Like, it's going to be hard at times, but purposeful pain equals growth. If you fall in love with the process and growth and trust the process and go through those points of purposeful pain, you will grow and you will be better because of it. Um, also, where I see a lot of coaches and consultants screw up is they're not aligned with your offer. And we're going to talk about this in a second, but your ideal client is typically just you two or three years ago. Like even any entrepreneur, their ideal client is typically them two or three years ago. Um, so... Coca-Cola, for example, there's a guy that uh, wanted a nice soft drink that tasted great, that they absolutely loved, and they didn't have anything on the market that satisfied their craving. So they went out there and found a solution and created a soft drink that they absolutely loved. And then they started selling it, right? They had a pain point and then they found a solution for themselves and then they sold that solution, right? So same thing for you. And I'm sure if you look into your journey, your own story, you can find those points of, oh, I really, really uh, solved that pain point for myself. And that's where a lot of people are stuck right now. Um, Samantha, Doug, Christine, anything that you guys want to add to this so far? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm here. I, I actually have this whole thing um, about taking fearless action. I think that's exactly what you're talking about um, here, that we are con consistently take action. Action can be scary, but it's only as we take action that it becomes clearer to us what the next action is. And most of the time, when we're stuck in our fear, we're not taking any action, but therefore we're not making any progress. And when you come from the perspective and you teach us this um, in AA and in several of your other programs, there is no failure, right? There are only lessons to learn which lead you to the next uh, the next possible solution. When you come from that paradigm and, and keep it in your mind that you cannot fail, everything becomes easier. So I'm 100% with you when it comes to mindset. Mm, love it. Awesome. Christine? Yep, I would also, yeah, I would add like, I have this self-quoting quote that when the mindset is strong, the strategy is simple, right? And so when you have both of those things, like, I work with high achievers, right? And I also find that um, as high achievers, we also struggle with more self-doubt than the average person. So, but we're also typically a lot more capable than we give ourselves credit for, right? Like we always manage to figure things out, but self-doubt is how we hold ourselves back mm. and keep from making the impact and the income in the, that we want in the world. And so um, the right support, accountability, <laughs> the right support, the simple strategies. We all think we need a clear plan, but information is overwhelming to us, right? Most of us are like stuck in overwhelm. And so to have um, someone to simplify it for you, meet you where you are, and also like hold your hand and kick your butt to make sure you move through the discomfort of doing something new. It's not that you're not capable, it's just that it's new. And so your brain is freaking out, right? Because mm -hmm. your brain safe is sane, even if it sucks. So you know, investing to move you from stuck to where you want to be, even just the act of investing and joining a paid program, much less one that's as amazing as Andrew's are, like that is going to change you. When I joined Seven Figure CEO, I walked around scared as crap for four days, like not sleeping at night, what the hell have I just done? But I also walked around taller because I was like, I am a person who invests in this way to get what I want. And I'm going to figure it out. And that's why I have the results because I applied what I learned, right? 
I got, I moved through my fear and I turned around and, and, you know, had the results on the other side. Oh, totally. Christian, I want to jump in on that. Andrew, you see what happens when you bring women in. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing, right? It's like, if, if you don't, if you don't have that conversation with yourself and then make, take the risk on yourself, it essentially you're saying, I believe in myself so much that I'm going to make this investment. Please understand that when I got that call, I did not know how I was going to make that first payment, but I knew I needed the knowledge that was in the program and there was no other way to get it. And I'd been asking for a shift and for a change in my life. So it's like when we are so it's, it, there's a level of desperation, right, Christine? And that's kind of it for you. You stood tall. You were also wondering, oh, my God, what on earth have I done? But it forced you to take action and then stand up for yourself. Um, yeah. And, and that, I, I think those of us, and you'll probably see in your program, Andrew, I know you, you can tell us the same thing for yours. Those of us who have, we have skin in the game and we really believe that something new has to happen. We're the ones that are the ones that are getting results. So if you're watching right now and you know that you, you're tired of where you are and you're, you're watching this for a reason, mm. you're watching this for a reason. It's time to take some action. A call costs you nothing. A call costs you nothing. Just put hashtag AA inside there. And I know this isn't what this is about, but I believe so much in the program because it's changed my life so much. Okay, I'm coming up. <laughs> Samantha, thank you so much. Christine, thank you so much. We're going to hop back into the training. And guys, hashtag AA if you want that call. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the kind words. Um, so let's hop back into the mindset here. So Another thing that you need to focus on simply to scale from um, uh, from sub 10K months to 25K months and a quarter million dollar year, these are the things that you need to focus on. Your offer creation skills, your marketing skills, your sales skills, and your coaching and consulting skills. Before a quarter million dollars a year, there should be a little less focus on operations and systems and hiring. Like, especially in this game, um, anywhere before a quarter million dollars a year, these are the things that you want to focus on. Being really good at offer creation, being really good at marketing, being really good at sales, and um, being the best coach or consultant that you can be. Um, and a little just popped in my head here. Um, one thing that I use over and over and over in my coaching calls is asking, hey, what's your number one takeaway? So on one-on-one -on -one calls or group calls, um, asking about every 15 minutes, hey, what's your number one takeaway? So I'm going to do that. I probably annoy the shit out of my clients. But if it's in a group container, your clients learn from each other when they're sharing their number one takeaways. And it helps it stick in their head better of like, this was super important, right? So I'd love for you guys to share what has been your number one takeaway so far. If you're playing full out today, if you're taking action, Drop in the comments down below what your number one takeaway has been so far. It will help other people learn and it will help it stick in your head a little bit better. So last thing in terms of mindset, I went all it. So I was $82,000 in debt. Um, I had $600 in my bank account when I bought a course. So I went all in on a course with Ty Lopez. Wasn't the best course, but it gave me that confidence in myself of like I invest in, in myself. And it's because I knew I was going to be successful. And if you know you're going to be successful, you don't worry about the money, you worry about the wasted time. Time is more important than money when you know you're going to be successful in the future. So I heard that way back in the day and I just took that to heart. And I was like, this is going to work, right? All right, so let's go into how you wanna think about um, growing your coaching and consultant business. And I was just reading through Traffic Secrets uh, by Russell Brunson, and he just split up, up really like easily. You want to work your way in before you buy your way in. So you want to do organic marketing before you do paid marketing. And if you implement these strategies um, and you can get to those 25 to 40K months where you have the cash flow that you can buy your way in, right? So the kind of rule of thumb is work your way into 20, 25K to 45K months, and then you can buy your way into 100K plus months, meaning paid ads, uh, those sorts of things. But if you're, you're not above 40K, just rock that organic engine 
because once you put paid traffic on top of that organic organic engine that you've created, it just it just grows like wildfire. And you always already have the strategies on the back end if they go through something on paid ads and then join. <laughs> Christine, say something. Oh, oh well, my one year old had to join the party. She knew she was missing a great training, so she woke up early. And here we are. Done is better than perfect, my friends. <laughs> we can do both. <laughs> a future coach or consultant right there you got it she's starting with mindset work from the beginning <laughs> i love it awesome um so that's the brief rule of thumb so uh simplify so right now what you should simplify down to and what we're going to get into in step number three is your foundation for your business is your audience so um, there's so much invisible ROI, return on investment, when you have a lot of eyeballs on your content and they're engaging on your content. So you could have zero dollars, but if you have just a hundred, if you have a hundred people engaging on your content, there's so much money to be made there, right? So the foundation is your audience. And what we teach is start with your personal profile. Start on your personal profile. A lot of times there's resistance to people posting on their personal profile around business. But when they actually do, they're like, holy shit, this is so valuable. This is the best lead, uh, uh, lead nurture source that there is out there on the internet today, right? And then um, posting in target audience Facebook groups. It's not spamming if you do it the right way. We have the right posts set up for you to post in other Facebook groups. So people add you as a friend, so you don't need to add a billion people as a friend. I have posts where I've gotten over 600, 700 reactions just from one post and over a hundred people to 200 people on my personal profile, new people on, in one day, right? And especially, this is huge, 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 huge. From zero to a quarter million a year, one offer. Focus on one offer. Don't get distracted by all of the offers that you can create one offer that is higher ticket, right? So simplify. So let's get into it. Anything you want to add there? Just one real quick, either Samantha, Doug, or Christine. Doug? Yeah, I'll go into um, something I heard you just say that really helped me. Like starting out, I was, I got my start in affiliate marketing. So promoting ClickFunnels, becoming a super affiliate and dream card winner ClickFunnels. And like, I never had that one focus. Like I was always promoting other people's things, trying to launch a masterclass strategy with like 10 different masterclasses. And, you know, that's a lot of offers. And when you focus on the one offer, which I've now done over the last probably eight months, um, that's, that's really the path to go. And you really become focused on the goal when you're focused on that one thing. Mm. So good. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that, that we would add is that, um, you're really able, like, I'm really able to serve at such a higher level now. Like my clients, um, are getting incredible results because of the focus that, um, that I have on this one offer and, um, they're supporting each other. And really like, Andrew, you and your team model this of, of being obsessed with your client's success, right? At least that's yeah. how I put it. And, and that makes business so much easier when you really, really are, believe in your program. You think it's the best thing you've ever created. And um, that makes it selling it a lot easier. And your people show up in that way as well and are like super, super grateful because there's a lot of space for people to over deliver in this place or in this in industry, but there aren't a lot of people doing it. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, there are, there are not. And like a lot of the, the, for me, I serve women, right? A lot of the women, right. They'll tell me I've been to celebrity coaching programs and I haven't been able to achieve as much as I have with you in like a week or 30 days. Imagine, right. My goal is to just help my clients get to 5k within the first 30 to 40 days. Last month alone, cumulatively, the brand new women in the brand new program came, they, they made $75,366 amongst themselves in a brand new program for women who many of them never ever thought that they were going to be able to make money and they didn't have coaching programs but i am so i'm so very 
motivated to help them in the program because I know this isn't BS. A dollar can change your life. My first 5K changed my life, much less helping others to change theirs. And I think if we were thinking about this like a generational, Andrew, it's the exact same thing that you've done for us, you know? So we're just taking your DNA and then just spreading it all over. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. All right. So let's hop back into the training. Step number two is getting your offer right. So I see way too many people undercharging for their offer. And that limits their ability to grow. That limits their cash flow for them to be able to invest in themselves and their business. And it limits their client's ability to invest in themselves and go full force on what you're offering. People, people that pay, pay attention. So you're doing sales for people. You're not doing sales to people. So the higher your price can be, the more people will invest into your program. And we'll dive into that in just a second. But your offer starts with your own story, right? So the better you can articulate your story, the more people will be attracted to you. It's like Russell Brunson's attractive character, right? I've written my story over and over and over in a billion different ways. And it works great. It gets great engagement. It gets people buy-in. And I get, to, uh, I get to show off what I've done in my life right? And the whole story is just low to high. I was here, now I'm here, right? And I have a whole slew of story posts that are on my story. And I have it tagged with how many reactions it got, how many comments it got. And you guys can just take this, run with it, get a feel for how to write out story posts. And if you want access to this, you can just hashtag story down below and somebody on my team will send it over. So hashtag story down below. I think we have like over 20 posts in here of just all story posts that have gotten massive reactions and you can take the same structure. But this won't work unless you get good at telling your own story, right? But the structure is there for you. So hashtag story down below and uh, somebody on my team will send it over to you. So once you got your story down, it's about identifying your ideal client avatar. And there's so many avatar sheets out there, but I want to simplify the avatar sheet for you. People are only ever moving in one of two directions. Only one of two directions. That's either away from pain or towards pleasure. So people are more incentivized or people are more uh, likely to take action when you're, able, when you're able to better articulate the pain that they're currently experiencing better than themselves, right? And if your ideal client avatar is just you two or three years ago, you should be able to go back in your head and think, okay, what was I thinking back then? How was I describing my pain or my problems? And you want to think about if you have clients right now, or if you're talking to people that might be clients, how are they describing their pain? How are they describing their problems, right? And then uh, towards pleasure, you want to think, what are the things that they're saying that they want? What was I saying what I wanted two or three years ago, right? And all messaging is, is entering the conversation currently going on in their head. And if you can better articulate their pain and their pleasure, and they say, wow, this person knows me, the more they'll be likely to take action on what you have to offer. And there are tons of people out there like, how do you produce all this content? It's because I know the, the pain points and I know the pleasures very, very easily because I've been through them and I've taken a bunch of clients through them. And the easiest way to start in producing content is by making a list of pain points. If you get anything out of this, let's create that list of pain points. So I have an example down here for you. Um, so for our seven figure CEO program, I've provided some uh, things that I was thinking before I became a seven-figure CEO, right? Um, and some of those things is like, ah, oh, shit, I'm always, I'm constantly putting out client fires. I hate this, right? Um, I don't know who to hire or how to hire. Um, uh, if I bring on a team, I feel like I'm locked in my business forever, right? So now each of these bullet points, each of these pain points becomes a piece of content. Either a story piece of content where I'm talking about, yeah, back in the day, I was so worried, like I was 
putting out so many client fires, all that stuff. And it really sucked. I feel like I was just all over the place. And then I hired my first executive assistant to hire, uh, to help me with customer service. And she was able to put out the client fires for me, right? So like just putting down the bullet points of like, what are the pains? And then what were the solutions to those pains that I went through, right? And that's easy content, either writing in long form or doing a Facebook Live on each piece of that content, right? So content becomes really easy when you just identify those two, two things. Screw all those long like avatar sheets, just about the pain and the pleasure, right? So let's go into the actual offer. There's so many ways that coaches describe, hey, this is the perfect offer. This is the perfect way that you set it up. Like these are little tips, tricks, tactics that get people to buy. No, it, it's seriously this simple. It's about identifying your ideal client's problems, identifying the promise of where they wanna go and, how, and, uh, and what you can actually deliver on and the process, the three to six steps that move them from the problem to the promise. And then you put a price point on it, right? So it's just identifying the problem, the promise and the process. And then you have deliverables and core components, which in group coaching and group consulting, it's just about the content that you're creating, the, group, uh, the coaching and consulting that they get, the accountability, and the community, the mastermind that you've created. And Doug has actually created an epic one cheater for his new offer. Um, do you happen to have it on your computer, brother? Yes, sir. You want to you wanna share it with people? Yeah, can I share the screen? Yeah, you should be able to. Let me okay. get you access. If you guys want that, if you want them to share, uh, I want to get some hearts. Uh, hit the heart. If I see a bunch of hearts, then uh, we'll have Doug share with you. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Can you share your screen, Doug? Yes, sir. Should be able to see that now. There we go. We got hearts. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so um, this is something that Andrew's asked me to do. I've been talking about launching a um, higher ticket coaching program for a while now. So my current is a 997 offer. Excuse and, me, Doug, could you make yeah. it a bit bigger, please? For those yeah. of us who wear glasses, like make it like 150 <sighs> or so percent. Thank you so How's much. That? Yeah, so That's this awesome. is basically um, to identify who this is for, the core components that are going to be outlined in this program and then how it all works. So it's very simple, three things. And um, I sat down, I mean, he, Andrew asked me to do this one day and I probably did in about 30 minutes after just sitting down and just throwing it all down on a piece of paper or a Google doc for this matter. But um, yeah, so like identifying who you want to help. And again, it's probably someone that is very similar to a situation you were in a few years ago. Uh, and when I first started this, like I really was successful at launching my own affiliate partner program, doing joint ventures, um, having leveraged partnerships in my courses. Um, I now have trainings in other people's courses and it's a, a flow of traffic that's going to get your name out there. So, um, you know, it's really important to find out what you're good at. What are you doing right now? Like think about what you're doing right now, what you're building and what is your future offer going to be? So it's great to have low ticket offers out there, but I won't, I, I know firsthand it is a lot of work and it's just as easy to sell something higher ticket. It's gonna have more impact and uh, you can focus on more than having all these lower ticket offers. So that's the transition I'm currently making now. Amazing. Doug, thanks for sharing, brother. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Awesome. So that's how simple it is. That is Doug's offer in a nutshell. And the thing I wanna say about price point and I was, doing a, I was doing a mastermind at my house just for my local community um, the uh, last week. And the one quote that stuck out to a lot of people was, when value exceeds price, that's when people buy. So if you wanna up the price of your programs, then it's about adding more perceived value, more utility to your clients. So let's say you have a $1,000 program right now it's about adding in components that are scalable and add more utility and more value to your clients. Then you can bump up the price point. It's that simple. 
And we're talking about 25K months here. But if you break that down in very simple terms, business is all about numbers. If you were doing a 1K program, then it's just 25 clients. If you're doing a $2,500 program, it's just 10 clients. If you're doing a $5,000 program, it's just five clients. If you're doing a, a $12,000 program, 12,500, it's just two clients. So the more value, the more utility that you can put into your program, the more you can up your price point. Plus the more results, the more testimonials you get and the more support components you put into your program along the way, you should be upping that price point, right? And you get better clients at higher price points. And if you're not willing to invest in yourself at these price points, how can you expect somebody to invest in you at these price points, right? So I've bought into uh, bought into $1,000 uh, courses up to 90K masterminds. And that's why I'm able to sell things up to our highest thing is $60,000, right? So you've got to invest into yourself at that price point before you can ultimately sell at that price point, right? Anything you guys want to add before we get into sales? Yeah, I've got a quick thing. Um, so similar to Doug, um, when I joined Seven Figure CEO, my first call, I was challenged to create a new program. And I literally sat down and created it. Quick two-page Google Doc in an afternoon. And I sold the first spot in it um, like a day later. So it just, it, and that was the start of that like 67K launch, zero ads, zero. I did, I barely even emailed my list, you all. Like it was all organic, just me having conversations, doing what I was learning, sharing my excitement about how I could help these women create these six-figure businesses. And it was, it was the easiest thing I've ever done. Like my assistants kept looking at me going, are you sure you don't need anything? Like you're good. Like, because the offer, it, it, it's so simple when you're, she's joining in, when you, when you are about um, transformation, changing people's lives and you know that like you believe you can help them, right? Which starts with the mindset work. And then what's the best, what's the way I could best support my clients? Like just doing it fast and then getting it out there, very imperfect action, building it out as you go, right? Like people are waiting for you to help them. So like, you know, get support to get out of your own way and you can create the thing right away and then sell it. Oh, good. I loved your baby's input too. That was on point. It's definitely an extrovert. So thank you for providing your <laughs> <association> today. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, and also uh, with your offer, with your messaging, the first thing that we do in Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO, as soon as you join, you book a call with Avery Ford, who is the best person at offer creation and messaging. And he helps you nail down your offer on a one-on-one -on -one call um, and make sure that you're aligned with it, you're clear, and you know exactly how to sell it. Um, so one-on-one uh, -on -one support within the first few days with Avery Ford who has helped hundreds of people create six and seven figure programs. Um, so if you want that, if you want to explore that, hashtag AA down below and we'll chat about it. <laughs> We're not hard salespeople. Like if you're not a good fit, we'll let you know. But if you're open to exploring that and changing your life, uh, just hashtag AA down below and we can have a conversation around it. So let's hop into getting your sales right. Step number three, how to get past 25K in 30 days. So there are three different processes and it all comes around creating powerful content, right? So the first process is around enroll, uh, pre-enrollment content, which is um, posting in target audience Facebook groups and posting on your personal profile um, consistently. And it really comes down to the consistency. And the more you can batch create your content from the strategies that we just showed above, listing out the pain points, creating content around that, the faster, uh, the easier it will be for you to post the content. So there's no funnel building, there's no email sequences, there's no webinar, there's no VSL, there's nothing complicated in the tech when it comes to launching and getting past 25K, right? It's very, very simple. And posting in target audience Facebook groups 
so let me start here. There are three types of lead generation content. I want you guys to write this down. Or uh, there are three types of content. I want you guys to write this down. The first type of content is lead generation content. Content that people see uh, sees and gets them on a list. In this example, it's getting them to your personal profile. So lead generation content is number one. Then there's lead nurture content. That's how you move somebody, content that moves somebody from a stranger to a raving fan of what you do, right? Like they're thinking about buying. That moves them from cold to warm. Then there's conversion content, which is you get people to take an action based off your content and move them to a sales call. There are only three different types of content, right? So the lead generation content are simply these two different types of posts in target audience Facebook groups. And this is just one strategy. There are a bunch of other strategies that you can move people to your personal profile. This is just one, right? That's inspirational story posts and client call out questions, right? So I'll give you a high level overview right here of what this looks like. So posting in target audience Facebook groups, you post those two different types of posts People add you as a friend. It's not spammy. It's just really good copywriting, right? And really good messaging, right? They add you as a friend, which gets them on your personal profile, right? So let's hop into step number two here, which is optimize your profile for your ideal client with lead nurture content, which are story po uh, posts, pain point posts, pleasure posts, value in Facebook lives and value in posts, right? So then on your personal profile, you're nurturing people for really, if you're starting from zero, it's just two to four weeks. If you already have a warm profile, we've had people just drop conversion content on there over two weeks and do 50K launches from their personal profile. But if you need to warm up your list a little bit, it's around nurture content for two to four weeks. And then it drives into conversion content, which is the enrollment sequence. So this is 14 days of posts, which starts with a launch post, comment for value post, Facebook lives on pain points, Facebook lives on pleasures. And all you're doing is getting people to raise their hand, talking with them in Messenger, seeing if they're a good fit, then taking them to a sales call, right? So that's the rest of the process. So you're uh, creating conversion content, the launch, taking them to Messenger where you're having conversations. Then it takes them to a sales call. And one of the key skills that you need to develop before uh, when you're under six figures or under a quarter million dollars a year is sales. Sales is a vehicle for growth, personal growth. Because a lot of your shit will come up in, in sales and a lot of, you'll feel a lot of pain, but again, purposeful pain equals growth. The better you get at sales, the better you'll get at running your business and the more you will grow. You need to get good at sales. There's no way around it. If, you, if you're not willing to get good at sales, probably not gonna be a good fit, right? Um, if you're looking to just put up a low ticket offer and never hop on a sales call ever, um, not too many people are good at making a business that way. And if they say they're making a million dollars, it's probably with maybe no margin or maybe 10% profit max, right? Just low ticket offers. Yeah, Christine, do you want to add in there? Yeah, I think a lot of us who are like impact and service and mission first are really skeeved out by sales. Um, I know I was because of how I was taught when I entered this industry. Um, because previously I'd booked, I built a six figure business online marketing agency with referrals. And so when I came and became a coach, um, it was like, oh, you need to this, 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 and this, and this. And I was like, that feels really bad. That feels like I'm trying to force someone to do something. Um, I love the way Brad teaches sales as service so that you're helping like this entire process. Andrew is teaching. You are actually helping people learn and get clarity from the, the content to the conversation you have in Messenger, to the sales call, so that the sales call feels in itself transformational. It's been really, really helpful for me and my clients because my clients, like 
like me, we're like, oh, I don't want to do sales. I wish I didn't have to do sales. But no, when you realize it's a vehicle of transformation and it's a form of service, like it becomes fun. You just have to learn how to do it like that. Amazing. That's such a good point about using sales for certain, like it's a service. Like you're, yeah. you're helping people with the sales process and it should illuminate more about their life and what, where they're actually trying to go and what they're actually trying to get fixed. And Brad is the absolute best at that. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Christine. Um, so that is how you do your 25K plus launches, right? So once you have cash flow in the bank, you're serving clients, you're optimizing your program, then it's about these things where we dive into this inside of Seven Figure CEO. It's about opening up your Facebook group, running a five-day challenge to open up your group, which helps you get more sales, more engagement, more raving fans, and building up the foundation of your audience. And it's building out systems and team and creating a higher ticket MRR program. That's ultimately how you can scale to seven and eight figures, right? And I want to bring Doug on here because he's actually the one that teaches the five-day challenge. And Doug, can you uh, talk about a little bit about your results and maybe some results that you've heard from other clients? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've loved the model of a five-day workshop or a challenge for several reasons. Uh, I've seen other entrepreneurs doing it and, you know, starting out with just me and a few, a small team, not a sales team, um, you know, getting on the phone to make a sale for a thousand dollar offer um, just seems like it, I could do things in a little different way. Like I'm not selling a 5k offer yet, but I've also seen people use a five-day workshop to sell things up to $10,000 uh, in a group setting, like one to many. So, my strategy currently is um, every six weeks, I have a five-day workshop. It's a free workshop. And um, in that workshop, I give more value in those five days than a lot of people do in their entire paid courses. So when you give value, like Andrew is right now, like this information should be, you should be paying for it. Like this is great information that Andrew's bringing to us. Um, so um, on that five-day workshop, on the last day, you have a very warm audience. These people have consumed over five to six hours of your content by this point, which is really important. Um, when it comes to know, like, and trust and giving value. So these people would take you up on an offer on that last day. Um, and if you have no offer yet, you have nothing to promote, you could use a strategy to go out there and launch a Facebook group or get more followers on um, a YouTube channel, whatever it is that you're looking to promote. Um, um, for my first workshop that I did, um, we had over 800 registrants. By the end of the five days, we had over 200 of them finish the homework all four days and led into the fifth day. Um, where I made that offer, I gained uh, 32 video testimonials on that Thursday because uh, I asked them for feedback uh, that, not, that are used for my marketing. Um, I gained 300 people in my Facebook group, over 300 subscribers to YouTube, over 300 people on my Instagram because uh, part of the registration process asked them to share this with others and they get more points um, for following me on social media platforms and things like that. So you grow your following. Um, you could really launch your group and, and double or triple the size of it just by launching a five-day workshop like that. Um, in revenue, we did $76,000 uh, at the end of the five-day workshop just from launching a 1K offer. So you see the potential here. It's a very powerful strategy. Um, and yeah, it's done really well. I'd highly encourage you guys to do something similar. Yeah, um, I would, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Christine. Um, I would add that I used Doug's um, <laughs> challenge training um, to create, I've done challenges before. I used Doug's strategy as, as much as I could. It was very quick and dirty. I was just like, we're doing this. And then a week later we did it. Um, but um, it's, it's super, super impactful. And then I got help from Avery to actually design the content of the challenge. And um, I had, obviously this is part of my 67K launch, but I also had um, the organic growth that you're talking about. And I had people saying like, this is the best challenge you've ever done. I got so much out of it. So many people came out of the woodwork that I didn't yeah. even know were in my organic world or in my group, on my profile, and they became clients in six figure simplicity. So it's, it's really awesome, especially the way that you do it, Doug. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys. Um, uh, also, uh, Kavitha, um, one of our clients in Seven Figure CEO took Doug's strategies from the video inside of uh, Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO, and she is a marriage coach, and she had her first $64,000 uh, month 
off the backside of her five day challenge. Uh, so it works for people out, uh, outside of the money, uh, make money online space too, uh, where she helps physicians um, uh, have better marriages. Um, and she absolutely crushed it with the five day challenge. Um, Do you, um, you share that in the authority accelerator as well, Andrew? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm telling you guys right now, like that training alone, I believe, and there's so much quality content in Andrew's library. Like, it's just like, that's like secondary to the, the community and the group. But like, I feel like that one, that one training, and there's so many others will help you get an ROI on your investment in that program. So just want to throw that out there. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see the inside of Authority Accelerator right now, hashtag inside down below and we can go through it. Um, if we get 10 people to say inside down below, we'll go through it. If you guys aren't interested, totally cool too. Um, but I think it's super helpful to see a program uh, that, uh, that produces badass results. Um, we have this uh, little testimonial tank page. So if you hashtag inside down below, if we get up to 10, then we'll go through it. Um, but we have this testimonial tank page of just all the results from Seven Figure CEO and Authority Accelerator um, and some awesome video testimonials. If you want to see this, uh, get more inspired by uh, different clients, um, then uh, just hashtag testimonials down below. Uh, we have Cole Gordon who started with us and four, month four months later, he did a $275,000 launch uh, in one month. Um, Doug, Rob Quinn, Stacy Conkey uh, started at uh, running actually a business outside the online space. And now they're past a million dollar run rate in just uh, just eight months um, and started from zero and absolutely crushed it. Kavitha started with us at 20K per month uh, and she is a marriage coach and she uh, did a $164,000 month um, last month. Absolutely crushed it. Um, all these epic interviews, Will Nelson that did a half million dollar month with us and he started with us inside of Authority Accelerator. Um, and then just the list goes on and on. So if you wanna see that, hashtag testimonials right now and uh, somebody on my team will shoot it over to you. Um, so let's see how many insides we've got. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We got 10, we got 11, awesome. So um, yeah, if you guys wanna explore Authority Accelerator, get in with all of these amazing people and um, have a one-on-one -on -one call uh, within the week. Um, once you join, you hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with Avery, nail down your offer and your messaging so you're ready to sell it. So either from there, it goes from uh, nurture content uh, which we have it all laid out for you, or conversion content if your audience is ready to go. Um, so that's how simple it is. Plus, we have all the support in the world. Uh, we have an accountability coach that will keep you on track. Brad Newman is in charge of uh, Authority Accelerator right now, and he sold over $3 million worth of online, uh, online products. Uh, so you have all the support in the world inside of Authority Accelerator. And uh, if it speaks to you, hashtag AA down below. We'll hop on a call explore it with you. Um, so the main thing that I want to point you to, we have it all laid out just systematically. Here's exactly how you launch, what you should launch. Here's how you should frame your Facebook lives. Uh, if this is actually really cool. So you, uh, we put up a post in the Facebook group um, and a lot of you guys commented on it and you actually went through one of our scripts, which is the comment for value script. So that is to see if somebody's a good viable fit for your program. And then you invite them to a sales call um, or strategy session before the training actually happens. Um, and we actually had a good amount of people join the program just through the script alone. Um, this has made us uh, probably over a half million dollars just through this script. Um, it's just a simple post saying, hey, we're doing this training. And then you have the step-by-step -step script, which is all based off of psychological sequences um, to actually get the sale. So everything is in there step-by-step -step for you um, and some examples in there for you. So uh, you know exactly how to do it. Um, and we go over this on our group calls and all that good stuff. So all the launch stuff is right there for you. You know exactly what to do. Plus Brad Newman's sales training is some of the best. Um, so you have his exact sales script, 
um, and how to actually conduct those sales calls, how to overcome objections, how to close like a boss, uh, the 15 mindset frameworks that you need for sales. This will make you a just absolute machine at sales. Plus Brad is running the group calls. So you'll be able to get exposed to his sales genius as well. Um, plus delivering for your clients. That's one thing that a lot of um, programs miss. How do you deliver your uh, program so it's impactful and scalable? And we have everything in there that you need on that. Then when you've uh, booked everything up, we have everything on launching your group down here and some extra special stuff and bonuses um, around scaling to seven figures and your seven figure roadmap, right? But it all starts from the beginning, which is crafting your offer and your messaging. And we have all the trainings in the world on making a badass offer, then warming up your audience, then launching it, then selling it, and then delivering it. And then your roadmap to seven figures, right? So that was a brief overview if this speaks to you. If this is like, oh, this is something that I'd be interested in exploring more, hashtag AA down below. The price for this program is going up, is doubling, but if you book a call by Friday, uh, you'll be locked in for the price that it's at right now. Um, and uh, you'll get rocking and rolling with that. So hashtag AA down below if you're open to exploring that. Doug, Christine, anything else that you guys want to add here before we go into Q&A? Yeah, I'd like to add something. <clears throat> I kind of forgot about this because it's been so long, but um, my first mastermind, uh, when I came out here to California for Andrew's mastermind, um, he went into something that really changed my perspective on mindset, right? So like I heard you say earlier, mindset, it's more about just picking a goal and focusing on that goal till you hit it, <clears throat> excuse me. But um, you know, it was for me, it was like creating the vision, the mission, like ever since that moment, like when you asked me like, what's at stake, what's that, what's that, what's it going to cost? Like what, it was just so powerful to me. So when I found out like narrowing down my vision to like my main mission and down to three words, like connect, inspire and experience, like those things mean so much to me. And when I think about what's at stake, if I don't show up and do the work to hit my goals, like that is why I show up every day. And that's why I'm so focused. So <clears throat> those kind of things that you teach inside your program are just, you know, things that I don't see in other programs, you know what I mean? So um, I just wanted to kind of highlight that and and just kind of reflect on that. Amazing. Did you ever find your bracelet? No. <laughs> Shit. No. It it's was... in your couch somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the word was uh, discipline. So yeah, discipline. Yep. Nice. I love it. Yeah. yeah just having those values in that direction is so crucial. Mm -hmm. Thanks, well, um, yeah, I would add like, I, but, never say never. Right. But I haven't even shared this with you, Andrew, but like I, because of my life situation, right. Like with two young kids and at home and like, I haven't sent my husband is, is an essential worker. And, uh, I have found this season of life super challenging. And so I like made this vow, which I have obviously now broken that I wasn't going to hire any coaches who didn't like personally understand what it was like to be running a business, a six figure business with young kids and stuff. So, uh, but you know, my friends who referred me into the program, they also have kids about the same age. And, and I had that conversation with them and got the chance to, you know, get a little bit of your, uh, just, I love the laid back energy as opposed to like, just figure it out. Right. Which is like not helpful for me if I'm up yeah. all night, you know, whatever. And so it's, it's, it's been a great experience for me to like, number one, you know, swallow my words and be like, hey, wait a minute, I can be open, right? <laughs> um, but also just to to be surrounded by all different types of people um, who all share a similar mission. And it doesn't matter if not everybody has, you know, the same life that I do. Like these strategies are super simple and applicable and have really helped me to both streamline my business and make a crap ton more money. So they work. Thank you, Andrew. Amazing. Yeah. And if, 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 if your baby wants to come on and say any amazing words, like I'm open for that. Uh... You say hi. Oh, now she doesn't want to talk. <laughs> right. She doesn't want to talk unless she could talk over me. Right. Typical. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Oh, uh, for the next five people that join Authority Accelerator, you get a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, and actually I'm hopping off in about eight minutes for a one-on-one -on -one call. I'll do a Q and A call uh, a little bit later. My favorite thing in the world is coaching. Um, obviously like I'm not a big marketer, uh, but I love coaching and I love producing results. And that's kind of probably what you've seen in this training is like, I just care about producing results. Um, so if you guys have any questions right now, I could probably take two or three, but I don't like to be late for coaching calls. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, hashtag AA down below. Um, if you're looking to explore, if this spoke to you in any way, and you're just saying, Hey, is this a good fit for me? We'll let you know. Um, really not salesy. Uh, so, uh, we'll take it from there. Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions and Christine, Doug, if you guys want to stay on for the next eight minutes, feel free. I'm just going to take some questions down here below. Um, yeah, if you guys want that document too, just hashtag document and we'll deliver it to you. Either Preston, Trent, or Herman will deliver it to you along with the story document, either story or uh, just document down below. And get that rocking and rolling, but let's see if there are any questions. So I will hang on here for two minutes, see if any questions come through. But Doug and Christine, guys, thank you so, so, so much for being here. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Um, thank you for all the support that you give me as well. So. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Should I go into the coaching call or uh, coaching uh, question? Uh, what 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 was your number one takeaway, guys? If you can put your number one takeaway from this training down below, please do. It helps it stick in your head better, and it helps everybody that is on this live with us. So, if you want to make an impact, if you want to play full out today, just put your number one takeaway down below in the comments. And we got a question here from uh, Galen. How long is the program or access to the program? So um, the coaching calls and the uh, support are for 90 days because we want to put you inside of a container where you get results. Um, and the content and the Facebook group is for as long as we're running the program. Uh, you get the content for as long as we're running the program in the Facebook group and you create lifetime uh, connections with people and the people in your life are your life. And I know whenever I've invested into a mastermind or coaching program, um, I've always ROI'd from the people that I've met that have invested into themselves as well. Um, good question though. Would love to hear the first part I missed. Uh, yes, it will be uh, saved inside the Facebook group here to watch the full recording. Um, and if you are watching the replay um, and you hashtag AA down below, uh, then uh, either Trent, Preston, or Herman will reach out to you uh, to share with you how you can hop on a call. Um, ben, I love it. Takeaway, I had a call and need to get in. Looking for money to get in before the price doubles. Uh, book me a slot, please. Awesome, Ben. Appreciate you, man. I'm stoked to get started working with you. Let's see. Uh, when you know you're going to be successful, don't worry about the money. You invest in yourself. Steph, I love it. Anytime you can, there are only two um, uh, true wealth are high level skills and high level network. You can lose all of your money. You can lose all of your investments. You can lose everything. You can lose your house. But if you have high level skills and high level network, you will never be poor because you look at like one of Russell Brunson's books all about, Hey, how would you make it back to a million dollars? Right. They have high level skills and a high level network and they'll never be poor again. Right. Um, so that's what you're investing into, uh, for the, for the program. Um, how much is the program? So we have different structures. Um, and, uh, the, the price is changing. So, this, uh, this training will live on in the Facebook group. So I don't want to misquote it for the people that are watching uh, the replay, but we have different uh, things in place for you to be able to afford uh, the program. Um, so just hop on a call, explore it. Um, number one uh, takeaway, Bev, thank you so much. Action creates inspiration. Uh, inspiration doesn't necessarily create action. I love it. 
so good. Um, Tamson, uh, who is a part of Authority Accelerator, welcome. Wealth is not what you are left with when you lose all your money. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Guys, I appreciate you. Coaching is my favorite thing to do in the whole world. So thank you for allowing me to serve. And Doug and Christine, do you have any final thoughts here? Anything you want to say before we hop off? I think I've said it all. I mean, yeah. I'm an open book, but I'm I'm grateful for you. This has been super fun. Um, I was like, I have to watch this training too, because even <laughs> living in your space, it's it's, you know, and paying and being in the paid program, it's so, it was so, so, so useful. Um, seriously, you all, I was an online marketer for a decade. I've been a coach for five years, um, worked with a lot of different people. Um, this is the best investment I've ever made in myself. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm very, very grateful because not only of what the income does for my family and the, the people that I can give to, but also because of the people I get to serve and help them to serve the world, right? And it's it's like you, coaching is my most favorite thing to do. And so thank you for helping me get to do more of it. Thank you, Christine. Doug? Yeah, just, um, I know where I was at when I first was invited to take a look at Authority Accelerator and like the main thought of money was in my mind. Like I didn't have much in the bank um, and time. Like I was very busy doing a lot of things and um, I know those are probably the two biggest things probably going through your minds right now. And like, I made it happen. I went out there and I knew I needed this program because um, I saw the results it was getting people. And I was clear evidence of that after two weeks of being in it and having the result I did, I paid it off in full. Um, there are ways like money is like not to go to abundance mindset training or anything like that, but like money is just create, like you can create what you need right now to go out there and make this happen. And you will pay it back very quickly. Um, and um, I just want to let that hold you back. So again, like a call is free. Go and discover what options are available to you to do that because I know it'll change your life. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the program and getting to know you uh, as a part of our community. So I'll say welcome now. Doug, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the last thing before we hop off, people are probably wondering why is the price doubling? Uh, I've invested a lot into new coaches to add support to the people in our communities. So uh, as I invest into more coaches, um, we, uh, we've we got to up the price of our program because it's driving better and better and better results and there's more support there for you. Um, and yeah, it, it goes up on Friday. Um, so if you book a call before Friday, you're good. You're locked in for that price. Uh, the next five get a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, and just hashtag AA down below. Um, and uh, we'll explore that on a call. So in Trent, Preston or Herman will reach out to you for that, um, or I might too. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, take this, kick ass, make things simple, and I'll talk to you guys soon.